for example, China rockfish have a territory of only two meters. Two meters. That's that's it. And they can live 80 years. So like two meters, 80 years. The, wait, wait, like they don't venture out? No. They stay with As far as we know, that's it. They have really? their, like two meter territories. And so... How big are they? They're, well, they get to be yeah. this big. And so ideally, there is an overlapping area where there's enough of a population that they can go and meet each other. So the analogy that I give Where your one, territories overlap. Yeah. So it's like moving six times the length of your body in your lifetime and hoping that that territory overlaps with a yeah. potential mate. And so if, like looking at this beautiful space that we're in, for there to be effective reproduction within that rockfish population, there needs to be at least a few individuals where they can see each other and then interact and mate. And so... If I follow the legal regulations of the province and I have my spot and I go back to and you go to the same spot and, you know, we don't really see each other that often and we don't communicate. We give each other the stink eye because we're fishermen. We don't like each other. And then we fish out a whole area of China rockfish. Then we are going to depend on there being another area close by that we haven't fished out where their larval young is going to come through ocean currents and come back and settle in. But if we're not keeping track of what's out there and we're not talking to anyone else, like we might not realize that we are completely depleting an area of a species. 